Okay, I'm going to do a little poking around. See if I can find this screen lock monster that some people have run into on IX-14s. So, let's pull down from the top and click the task manager, that white square. And let's throw the airware off the screen and kill it. And click task manager again and you can see nothing's running. Alright, so let's pull down from the top and turn on Wi-Fi. And it's on. And hit the home button. And run the settings app. And instead of poking around through all this stuff, if I'm wanting to find something, and I'm not sure where it is. I'll just search for it, such as screen lock. There's screen lock under security. Okay, it's right here. Click on that, and it's currently set to none. I have never set my screen lock to enabled, but apparently you can set it to swipe or pattern or pin or password. And I'm not about to lock my IX14. So if yours is locked and you want to set it to where it doesn't lock click right there set it to none I assume that if I were to click on swipe or pattern pin password that this little thing here where it says current screen lock it would move down to whichever one is enabled and none wouldn't have anything under it and you'd be able to click none and it would set it to none and that would turn your screen lock off. Sounds pretty simple to me. So maybe that will fix the problem. Now, if you've deleted airware, I assume this icon won't be here. Let's see, if I click and hold on this icon, you can remove it, but I think it only removes the shortcut. Um, it's usually what happens. And if I drag up, let's see what we have. There's, there's the real airware app icon. Click and hold, and there's uninstall doesn't say remove it says uninstall so I assume that will remove airware not gonna do it but now if you want it back if you have deleted it and you want it back then I would go to the Play Store and once again I would search for what I want. I wouldn't go poking around looking for it. I would just ask it to go find it for me. And there's airware for the IX-20. And there's airware, airware for the IX-14. So if I click on it, I can deactivate it. I don't know if that uninstalls it. I don't know if you can truly uninstall it. Um, if this weren't the newest version, it would probably say update right here. So I'm not about to deactivate it. Now, 
some people have had to reinstall it and when they did uh, when they turned their transmitter on or restarted it and it booted booted up airware doesn't automatically start there is a setting that we found here a while back and I don't remember where it is uh, but the uh, RC groups thread for the IX14 has the answer in it and I may have another video that has the answer in it I'm not sure but anyway if your airware is gone then I would go to the Play Store and I would reinstall it. And to close what's running, click the Task Manager and just click and hold and drag off the screen. Now I say click and drag. I'm operating my iX14 using a mouse and keyboard on my PC because my iX14 screen is being shown on my computer monitor because I have it hooked up with a USB cable and I'm using a free piece of software uh, called Screen Copy that's on GitHub to allow me to um, operate my iX14 through my computer. So now let's start airware and if you do have airware and it runs but it's not the latest version you can go to system settings and maybe product information i forget and right there you can click get it on Google Play and it will update it. So that's the easiest way to update it. But if it's not on here, then you got to go to the Google Play Store and install it. Future me here, I went back and looked up what the setting was to make Airware start automatically if it doesn't after you install or update it so go into uh, settings let me get back out of this start over get out of everything okay nothing's running so click home go to settings and the setting that allows airware to start automatically is display over other apps if you search for that and you click on display over other apps it'll show you the apps that have that permission and airware needs to be there if it doesn't have that permission it's not going to show up in this list so what you have to do is um, clear the search and just search for airware and click on it and go down here to advanced and scroll down some more and there's display over other apps and it's turned on so make sure this is on if it's not on then airware won't start automatically when you're when you turn your transmitter on you'll have to start it manually so make sure this is enabled 
and that should fix it where it automatically starts so click the task manager drag the setting screen off click on airware and we're back in it so anyway um, I think that's pretty much it you've only got a certain amount of time to click the task manager button and when you get done with uh, when you get done working on your iX14 turn Wi-Fi off so pull it down turn it off um, the icon should be gone the fan that was there uh, let's see nothing else is running you drag to the left and the right to see what else is running and airware is the only thing so I'm going to click on it and it's back running so anyway uh, maybe that'll help somebody out catch y'all later